Hi, this is Tim at the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmosso at the 1916company.com for all of your purchase, pricing, and availability questions concerning this watch. This timepiece is a throwback, first to the 1930s and second to the 1990s. We're looking at the Jugere Le Coult Grand Reverso Ultra Thin Duo Face, a model, as you see it here, launched in 2013, riding the high of 2011's Tribute to 1931. It has that style quite strictly and faithfully on a dial that is Reverso branded, like the very first watches of 1931, but not Le Coult or Jugere Le Coult branded. So we have the throwback to the 1930s, but then with the Reverso Duo Face concept, we have the throwback to 1994, when JLC first realized that you could package a dual-time watch in its famous reversing case. So in stainless steel, it is a grand reverso, but it's not a huge reverso. It is 27.4 millimeters from side to side, not including the crown or the pusher. From lug tip to lug tip, it is 46.3 millimeters. It is 9.3 millimeters thick, and between the lugs, a very versatile 20 millimeters. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see it wears beautifully. Now, it's larger than the old Grand Tie, but it's not quite the size or thickness of the XGT, and it's not something like the crazy Reverso 975 or the 986. This is a watch that you can wear on a wrist of, I would say, 15 centimeters circumference or larger, and my wrist is 16. Over the top, down the barrel, and the cuff shot. It'll easily slide underneath a tight dress sleeve. JLC is really upping its strap game lately. Here you can see we have large rectangular scale, symmetrical shaped scale alligator leather, always indicative of an expensive cut of the animal. Glossy, monotone stitch with a folded edge, but look on the bottom. We have round scale alligator. Now, JLC until recently would have used calfskin here, but you can see this is a JLC factory strap made by its OEM supplier, Camille Fournay in France. And now with small round scale on the bottom, they're up with louis Ulysse Chopard. They're up with Ferdinand Bertou, De Betun, F.P. Journe, and Vacheron using gator for longevity and quality on both sides. No crimping, no gouging. The watch features a simple steel pin buckle for quick adjustments, appropriate for a vintage style dress watch. The Reverso has more curves than online photos would let on. You've seen a lot of these, but what you may not recognize is that it has a barrel shaped profile and conical lugs that are rounded off. Taking a look at the Gadroons, they wrap all the way around the case, and you can see how they truly do span from side to side. That's what those little strakes are called, Gadroons. Their tops are polished, their recesses are media blasted. The chassis underneath the case features engine turning. And then on the reverse side, we have vertical satin graining. As you can see, the watch 30 meters water resistant, which may not sound impressive, but keep this in mind. Prior to the 1980s, no Reverso ever had any water resistance. And this case, which includes everything from spring-loaded ball bearing pin snaps to case seals, this case has over 50 individual parts. Now, taking a quick look in profile, JL branded crown, the dial, not branded, Reverso, the initial Reverso was a product of many parts put together by a tablissage, and Le Coult, it was Le Coult at the time, was not used to a tablissage. In general, it was a manufacturer. So considering a case made by Wenger and a Tavanis movement, Le Coult was the coordinator of the design of the Reverso, but initially the parts were not theirs. And so Reverso was used on the dial rather than any kind of maker's mark. Now, this is a much higher quality dial. As you can see here, we have those lovely blackened and faceted broadsword hands. We have a glossy lacquer transfer for the numerals. We have dart style individual indices. They're not really numerals, properly speaking. We have a blackened lollipop counterweighted sub-seconds, and you can see there is a subset rectangle within a rectangle, as well as a command de fer, or a railroad track outboard for reading the minutes. But when you turn it over, things get a little bit more intense, as we now have a Jager Le Coult branded dial, as well as a 24-hour format, and wait for it, loom. And not just loom on the primary dial, but also the night-day indicator. So with the way this works is I can adjust the time here 
and then I know whether I'm looking at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. You can see right here that 24 advances to 6. That's from midnight. We are looking at 6 a.m. Now, let's say I want to make some adjustments to my travel time dial. I just use the pusher. In the past, JLC's had a bunch of different ways of doing this. This is probably the most convenient. And then you can see that there's a lot of texture on this dial with a lovely pyramide style clou de Paris. Taking a quick look, 24 hour indicator, primary dial, Chagier Le Coult branding. Personally, I'd probably wear it with this side facing up, but it's designed the way it is so you can enjoy either side. Inside, Manufacturer caliber 854, both sized and shaped for this style of case. Created originally in 1994 for the original dual side, dual time reverso. It's a manual wind with a 45 hour power reserve, a three hertz beat rate, pivots on 21 joules. It's free sprung. It has had some modern changes over the years. And it's tested for 1,000 hours in six positions as a fully assembled watch, not as a bare movement. Chronometry, power reserve, durability, water resistance, all are components of JLC's master 1,000 hours control, which is why they shout it out on the case. A watch that represents the best of one of the best in Swiss watchmaking. A true original, if you're going to buy a Jager Le Coult you're going to buy a Memovox alarm or a Reverso. And while there are many different shapes and styles of Memovox, the Reverso is a design icon, not just a movement icon. It is JLC's Calatrava, Nautilus, Royal Oak, or Moonwatch. Reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.